Hi folks, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery Supply. Today what we're going to do is the setup of a basic takedown recurve bow. And we've got the Samic Sage here, which is one of the most popular takedown recurve bows. When you get the bow in the box, it's going to have a riser, it's going to have your two limbs, it's going to have your limb bolts, and a string. First thing you want to do is identify your limbs. One limb will have writing on the back, the other will not. The one with the writing on the back is your bottom limb. So you're going to take that, you can see the bolt hole in there and here. Just going to slide that in, line them up, put your bolt in, hand tighten it, just make sure it's nice and snug. And then take the other one is your top, goes in the same spot, put your bolt in, and you can see that the curve of the limb is out towards the front. Limbs curve this way, that's the proper assembly. Okay, next we're going to put the string on, and when you get your string in the package, you'll notice that one loop is slightly larger than the other. Uh, for this string, that's going to be this loop. That's going to be the loop that you put over the top limb of the bow. This is, you're just going to put it over and slide it down. Going to take the bottom one, get it in the groove, pull it tight, and then we're going to use a bow stringer in order to finish stringing the bow. We've got one end here that's going to go over the end of the bottom limb. Take our top end, we're going to bring it over past the loop of the bow string so that the bow can flex. When it flexes, I'm going to slide this up into this groove. I'm going to take and step on this end of the bow stringer in order to make the bow flex. So as I pull back, I can slide this up into the groove. Just turn it over and check it to make sure that the string is in the grooves on the belly of the limbs. Uh, and now our bow is strung. So once you have your bow strung, you're going to want to check the brace height. The brace height is the distance between the throat of the grip and the string. And for the Samic Sage bow, the spec recommendations are seven and a half to eight and one quarter inches of brace height. So it's a very simple way to check it. You can just take any tape measure, put one end in the throat of the grip, come back to the string and check your measurement. And you can see here we are just under seven and a half inches, which means that we need more in the brace height. And to do that, you unstring the bow and then we're going to put twists into the string. Put a couple twists in, string it back up, check the brace height again. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to put twists into the string using the bottom section of the string. And we're just going to put in, we're going to try eight twists here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put our string back on. And we'll string it back up and test the brace height again. So we have restrung our bow and we're going to check the brace height again. We put eight twists in and now we are just at over seven and a half inches. That's within the specs for the Samic Sage bow. You can unstring and put some more in if you'd like, but seven and a half to eight and a quarter, that's what this bow uh, calls for. And actually, as this string stretches, the more you use it, you want to keep checking because uh, it's going to stretch out and your brace height is going to shrink. So now what we're going to do is put on a rest and our knocking points. We have a basic stick-on rest uh, that comes with the bow. It's just got a P 
peel off back and we're going to place it right over the uh, hole for the cushion plunger in the riser. We're just going to match up this hole over it. It's pretty fail safe. Line that up so that it's level. The top of it is level on the riser. Now you've got your arrow rest. Uh, knocking points are next. Uh, to get your knock points in the right place, we recommend using a bow square because that's going to give you the best spot for your knocking points. You're going to put your bow square into the rest, clamp this end onto the string. You can see when you're level because the bow square will set into the rest as so, just like it's an arrow. And then what we recommend is for your knock points to go 3 eighths of an inch above the center line here on your bow square. And that's going to be the top of the knock is going to be 3 inch, 3 eighths inches to a half inch high. That's our recommended setting. So we're going to put our knock point on the string here. You can see that it is at the top here, that's 3 eighths inches high. We've got our knocking pliers. We're just going to clamp this on. Take this out, clamp all the way around to make sure that it is good and tight. What we're going to do is take an arrow that we would use Put it on the bow string and then that will allow us to set the second knocking point because we're going to go below the knock. We want to make sure that the knock has a little bit of wiggle room. So we're going to put it on the string leaving just a little bit of space below the knock, the arrow knock, and then I'm going to clamp it on just like the other one. So now our bow is set up and ready to shoot. We thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, you can check us out at LancasterArchery.com.